this is going to be the most random video ever probably to be on my channel. Um, hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hayley, if you're new here, uh, welcome. Um, and today, as I just said, this is probably going to be the most obscure, random video that I ever have on my channel. I'm just putting it out there now. If you're having trouble with squirrels, digging up your plants and your flowers, I hope that this video will help you. If you've been watching my channel over the past few months, you'll know that we moved into this house about 11 months ago now. Um, it was a renovation project. Um, we started inside, um, so across the winter, we've renovated the entire house. The garden was the last job that needed to be done. Um, so during the winter, the squirrels had an, they had the absolute run of the garden. We have a decent sized garden, but at the end of it, we have an enormous oak tree um, and it looks really, really pretty. However, it is home to probably about five squirrels, I would say. I mean, it's quite hard to distinguish a squirrel from one to another, isn't it? Um, <laughs> but I think there's probably about five. I've seen three at the same time out there. Now around the side of the garden, we have planters. So we have raised decking areas around the edge of the garden. And then on those, we have planters. So in those, we decided that we would plant some clematises and lavender. Obviously lavender smells lovely and adds a bit of color and clematises are great for climbing. So we wanted them to climb up the trellis and up the fence. We have seven planters in all and we also have a new border at the back which we planted in against the white wall and I'll insert some footage here so you can see what I'm talking about um, but actually it costs quite a bit of money who realized that plants and flowers cost so much so they had been in a couple of days and the next morning came out and found that the squirrels had had a lovely time with them they dug down to expose the roots and they then chewed and I guess maybe they've eaten the roots of the clematises. Now they're not cheap so we then went out, replaced them and then the same thing happened again which I guess you could say was quite silly. I mean why did we not think it would just happen again? I think we had 14 plants in all and seven of them, half, had to be replaced. Very annoying. So there started our battle with the squirrels. <laughs> I love squirrels, I'd like to just say here, um, especially their tails. I didn't want them to disappear from the garden entirely because I like to see them running around chasing one another up the tree, but we just wanted to make sure that they weren't digging up our plants and our flowers. Our first solution was to try netting over the boxes, over the clematises and attach it to the um, trellis that sat behind. So basically just to create a cover over the entire planter, which it didn't look great so when we were sat out in the garden all you could see was just this green netting and the idea was to make it look really pretty so that kind of went against what we were trying to do um, also we found that the clematises obviously being climbers decided that they were going to start growing through the netting the second um, idea we had was to actually put bricks either side of the plants are basically over the roots so that the squirrels couldn't dig around it, pull it up. Again, this didn't look great. Um, it probably looked worse than the netting to be fed. And also it's probably not great for the plants. I imagine I am no gardener by the way, but I don't think having something that heavy pushing down on it all the time is probably great for its uh, health. Okay, so we tried two solutions, the netting and the bricks neither of which to be honest looked great that was probably the main thing we were designing a garden that we wanted people to say oh that looks really nice and so we could sit out in it and think oh yeah this is quite pretty so our third solution is the final solution um third time lucky yeah so this we've been testing for the last six weeks and we've had no problems with it whatsoever all you need for this method is some football slash sports cones, the ones that look like almost sort of a raised disc and they've got a hole in the middle. And you need one of those per plant that you're trying to protect. You need some strong chili flakes. I would suggest getting about a kilo if you can because you will need to keep on topping it up. 
you'll need some gravel and you'll need some all-purpose compost. Sports cones, which really just bring back memories of sports day at school, the best day of the year. Um, <laughs> anyway, so the sports cones, I would suggest going for green if you can, just so that they blend in a little bit more. You can get them really cheaply. So on Amazon, um, and I will put a link down below, you can get 50 for £10, I think it is. So that would basically would protect 50 of your plants. The chili flakes, um, as I said just a second ago, you will probably need quite a lot of this. So I would suggest just popping online, eBay do it. I think you can probably get them on Amazon as well. I would suggest getting about a kilo um, of strong chili flakes. Now, from what I've read online and actually what we've experienced here, strong tastes are what repels squirrels most. So things like pepper, chili, anything like that, they don't like. So we're using in this method chili flakes to um, stop them from actually eating plants and the cones are used to stop them from digging in the first place. So you've kind of got two barriers of protection there. I'd also just like to say that chili flakes aren't harmful to birds. So according to the, oh, was a fly. It's a really slow fly. Um, so accord according to the RSPB website, chili flakes aren't harmful to birds. So assuming that you already have your plants in the planters or in the border, which I guess is probably likely if you're having trouble with squirrels, I'd suggest that you start by making some space in the planter. So just maybe clear out a little bit of the soil around the roots. Then add a layer of chili flakes. So you're almost going to build it up like a really good plate of nachos with the chili flakes. So yeah, so you've cleared out a little bit of the space, add a little layer of chili flakes, then you're going to use your sports cone and you're going to cut into the middle so that basically you can pull it apart and you're going to place that around the roots of the plant. Then we're going to pour gravel into the middle. So you've got your disc around the plant itself and then you're going to pour gravel inside of the cone so that's just to give another layer of protection we're going to add another layer of chili flakes see this would be if this was if we were talking about chili and cheese and guacamole this would be the ultimate in nachos then comes the all-purpose compost so that's going to go over the top of the cone um, to cover it up so that you can't see it. Great, looking good. And then obviously to make sure that the plant and the roots feel quite compact and secure. And then the last layer of chili flakes. See, I told you you were gonna need quite a bit of that. Um, it is the number one repellent for squirrels. It is taste, so you need quite a lot of that. Just be aware that the cones can become a little bit exposed as time goes on, so things like the weather may mean that they get exposed. All you need to do then is just have some extra compost, just use that to build it back up and cover the cone. With this method there are really two forms of defence. So we have the chilli, which obviously stops the squirrels from biting and eating because they absolutely hate it. It's a real, real repellent for squirrels. And you've also got the cone, which acts as a real sort of barrier from the squirrels digging away, trying to get down to the roots of the plant. As I said, we've been using this method for about six to eight weeks now, and our plants are looking so much healthier. We do still have squirrels in our garden, which I'm really pleased about. Michael, maybe not so much. They're not entirely kind of put off by our garden, but they are, but they have been put off digging up our planters, which to be honest, it, it, that's what we wanted to achieve. So that's why today I wanted to share this with you because we really struggled with it. As you can see, we tried a number of methods that didn't work, that looked awful, uh, but this one seems to be working. It is tried and tested and actually proven to work. I wish though <laughs> that we'd had it at our previous house, particularly in Bournemouth, we have a lot of grey squirrels and they are so brave and cheeky. I mean, I will insert a video here of a squirrel we had in our last house who was brave beyond belief. Um, honestly, he was mental. Uh, <laughs> so I'll pop that in here so you can have a look at that. Thank 
you so much for watching. I hope you found it interesting or helpful. Even if it just helps one person, then this video was worth it. Um, if you did enjoy it, please give it the thumbs up, even if it's just for the squirrel video. And obviously I would absolutely love it if you subscribed. Um, I am on my way to my 100 target. So I think I'm on about 64 at the moment, which um, still absolutely blows my mind. Um, again, it sounds tiny and I say this in every video, but for me, that is quite an achievement. So thank you so much if you have subscribed already. And if you would like to, I would absolutely love it if you joined me. Um, thank you again for watching and I will be back next week with hopefully a less random video. Thanks again for watching. See you later. Bye.